Hey guys, my name is Kevin and it's August and it's been a while since you've seen this set, right? <laughs> yep, I'm at my uh, Austrian grandpa's house again um, and uh, only a few days and we're going back to Hungary. But let's talk a bit about why I haven't uploaded for two weeks. So first of all, I want to tell you guys the whole story about how we went to Austria. So as you know, on June 29th, we got to Austria and on that day I saw Ed Sheeran live in Klagenfurt. And then for like, a, for like a week or something, nothing has happened. Um, and uh, on the on the la on the first weekend of you know at the at, at my, on the first week of June there was this Electric Love Festival in Salzburg, uh, which is like an electronic festival. You know, on on the fourth of July there were like, people like Tiesto, DJ Snake, Afrojack, and Diplo. Um, but um, on that day I found out that the, the festival is actually for 60 plus year olds. So I didn't see that. Um, and on July 12th we went to Medal in Croatia. And my goodness, so uh, yeah, and, and, on, and on July 13th there was Electric Nation in Graz, but I didn't see that either because we were we were in Medellin. And, and my favorite DJ Rehab wasn't even there, he was replaced by Kashimir, but Kashimir is a really good um, DJ too. Um, and there were also people like Armin Van Buren and the Chainsmokers, uh, Steve Aoki cancelled his appearance there, but whatever. And there was also Don Diablo and the uh, Vini Vici, I think, yeah. And um, yeah, so in Medellin it was freaking annoying. The apartment we went to, which um, one of my half sisters' um, friends owns, apparently, um, it was terrible. Like the like the internet did work there, um, and it was good. But like my goodness, the beach was so bland and boring, and I just really didn't like it. But on the 18th of July, uh, the day before we got back to Austria, I did see the Darn Street Experience in Medellin at Adria Summer Festival, and it was amazing. Um, the band who were before that, Imset, were like a rock band or something. They performed 16 songs, and their set was boring. Um, though, though they did make two really good, um, you know, like, uh, tracks. Where, actually, they were covers. One of them was a cover for a, a Believer by Imagine Dragons, which is, um, where the, the lead singer of Eames said that uh, didn't use the, the big falsetto voice that, that Dan Reynolds used on the chorus. No, it said he had a really deep voice, which which is cool, it's better than the original. And they also covered In the End by Linkin Park. Um, and at the beginning of the Eames concert, on, on the, uh, at the beginning of the Eames concert, the Dire Straits experience just casually walked in to, to like get ready for um, uh, for their show. And there, there was everyone from Terrence Reich, um, the lead singer, to Tim Walters and other guitars, and then at the end of the line, there was Chris White, the saxophonist who was in Dire Straits, and 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 um, I was just watching him set, and my mother suddenly came, ran up to me and said, "Come here, Kevin. Uh, Chris White is here," and I went absolutely nuts. And I did meet Chris White, and it was amazing. Oh, you don't believe me? Check on Twitter while watching this video. Link in the description. So yeah, their set was amazing. I mean, it, it was exactly the same set as in Budapest. Uh, track by track, it goes Telegraph Road, Walk of Life, Romeo and Juliet, Tunnel of Love, Your Latest Trick, uh, The Man's Too Strong, that's a surprising one, um, Expresso Love, So Far Away, Private Investigations, Why Worry, another surprising one, um, Where Do You Think You're Going, A Once Upon a Time in the West, as a quartet, um, Two Young Lovers, On Every Street, Brothers in Arms, Sons of Swing, and then for the encore, um, Money for Nothing, and of course, the Going Home theme of the Local Hero, which I, upload, which I recorded the footage of in Budapest and uploaded it to YouTube. So yeah, and uh, oh, and after the show, I even met Andrew Hawkins, the drummer. I just casually walked up to him and said, "Hey, Andrew, great drumming," and, and he was very thankful for it. And we shook hands, and it was amazing. So yeah, the next day we went back. We went back to Austria. There was this Star Nacht in Klagenfurt once again, and there were people like Alvaro Solia. Yeah, bet bet you a lot of Sofia once I uh, once I said that name. Um, and there was also a legend, Albano Carisi. You know, the Italian singer. Uh, he participated with uh, with. Um, his damn wife, Romina, uh, Romina Power, in, in the Eurovision Song Contest in 1976 and 1985, if my um, Eurovision followers don't know. <laughs> and um, there was also Lena Maya Landwut, who, uh, who you probably know because um, uh, she won in 2010 the Eurovision Song Contest and then came 10th the next year. And yeah, her whole album that I dropped this year was really good. Like, I really enjoyed every uh, single track out there. But yeah, I didn't see that either. It was kind of weird and it was unfortunate. But yeah, we just randomly went everywhere and my goodness. And uh, we also went to a couple of music like concerts in Austria once. Today we're going to another one um, and my godparents are visiting. I'm not really sure for how many days, but I do know that we are going to go home on Monday, hopefully. 
Um, and so, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, in two weeks, um, I, I didn't upload for two weeks since meddling, and uh, yesterday I got, I got a YTP out, a really short one. But, um, yeah, that, it was just because there were so many things going on, and I couldn't really upload. So, yeah, I don't know what I'll see you guys next time, but if you would like to like and subscribe, that would be more than grateful. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. We'll see one. Bye, everyone.